cheese. Now that we've mentioned it, you want some, don't you? But do you know the rules about how and where to store it? What happens if you leave it out? Keep watching for what to do and what not to. It might seem like once cheese is safely refrigerated, it's in good hands. While it's true that cheese should be refrigerated, how and where it's stored in that fridge makes a big difference. Ultimately, the rule cheese experts go by is to store cheese in the coldest part of the refrigerator. Jill Allen, director of product excellence at Tillamook and an American Cheese Society certified cheese professional, told Mashed that the temperature should be between 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit and away from the freezer. According to Portland Food and Drink, cheese or crisper drawers also work well, as those drawers are are made to have stable cold temperatures. And not only do you want to keep your cheese cold, you'll also want to be sure not to dry it out so you can enjoy it longer. To sum it up, you want your cheese to have consistent temperature and humidity to keep it from spoiling faster or getting dull. It's probably pretty well established that an opened package of cheese can't be just thrown in that fridge naked and that it needs to be wrapped. But how it's wrapped actually does matter a great deal. Cheese paper or parchment paper is a really good way to go here. Jill Allen also told Mashed, wrap first in parchment paper or beeswax reusable paper, which allows the cheese to breathe, and then again in plastic wrap or tin foil, which protects the cheese from other food aromas, yeast, or spores. And make sure the cheese stays covered. That means every bit of it. Cheese loses flavor and moisture when when it's exposed to air, experts say. Adam Brock, Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin Director of Food Safety, Quality and Regulatory Compliance, told Mashed, We suggest wrapping hard cheeses, such as Parmesan, in tightly drawn plastic wrap. Store soft or fresh cheeses, such as mozzarella and burrata, in clean, airtight containers, and keep semi-hard cheeses, like cheddar and gouda, wrapped in plastic wrap, cheese paper, or parchment paper. This may seem obvious, but the best way to maintain a cheese's fresh taste is to make sure there's nothing stinky or moldy around it. In other words, make sure to regularly clean out that fridge if you want your cheese to stay fresh. Jill Allen told Mashed, A fridge with other moldy foods can release additional spores into the air, affecting the cheese flavor negatively. Of course, the cheese itself could be what's stinking up that fridge. Ultimately, smell and sight will go a long way when deciding if it is too late and it's time for that breed to go bye-bye. Dave Newman, master cheesemaker for Costello and Arla Foods, told Mashed, Your smell and sight are the best way to determine if a cheese is no longer good to enjoy. If you see unwanted moisture or if the cheese is very dry, you should see visible cracks, or if it smells strange like ammonia, it's time to throw it away. Generally, there are a few issues when it comes to storing cheese, all of which can impact the quality and could become a concern when considering food safety, though that can depend on the cheese and how long it is left out. Once you are done cooking, snacking, or wrapping up your party, make sure to put the cheese back in the refrigerator and don't allow it to sit out on the counter overnight. Adam Brock also told Mashed, leaving cheese out overnight may impact the quality of the product, but would not, in most cases, result in a food safety issue. There is always the potential risk of pathogens or mold, but the risk can depend on how the cheese is manufactured, experts say. Brock added, Cheeses that have been aged a bit longer, such as Parmesan, will be better able to maintain their unique flavor and functionality characteristics and are less of a food safety risk even when held outside of ideal conditions. It seems like an obvious solution to maintaining cheese would be to throw it in the freezer. That makes everything stay fresh longer, right? Well, not everything. Cheese can be frozen, technically, but it just won't be quite the same. And in that case, is there truly a point in bothering? Jill Allen, director of product excellence at Tillamook and an American Cheese Society certified cheese professional, told Mashed, Freezing cheese will change the texture and taste of the cheese. However, Allen says it is okay to bake or cook with that cheese after freezing, so throw it in that big casserole of mac and cheese, for sure but it'll no longer be cheese you want to sit and snack on its own. So freeze if you want, but manage your expectations about the results you'll get after you do so. Cheese plates for happy hour may become a no-go after the cheese has already been frozen, but a baked brie may be a great backup plan. Some cheeses play well together, but others don't. You're not going to want to keep super pungent cheeses near the other cheeses. It is the same reason you'd probably not want to store your Parmesan next to a big bag of garlic. Do you smell like a weird, warm cheese? Certain families of cheeses, such as Blue Duverne or Apoise, are particularly pungent, and if stored too close to other cheeses, they can affect the taste of other milder curds. Charles Duke, managing director of the Americas Division for the French Dairy Board and operations director of the French Cheese Board in New York City, told Mashed, To store pungent cheeses, use the original wrapping. Leave the container open very slightly to create airflow, but prevent it from affecting your other cheeses and put it in a refrigerator drawer. This way, that blue cheese will be just fine to enjoy stuffed in an olive in a delicious martini later in the night, but it won't mess with the fontina you plan to cook with later. 
check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.